Welcome back. Uh, in the previous video, uh, we learned how do we move a robot, right? How do we, that's what we say, uh, how do we jog a robot in join and world coordinate? So you uh, you can see uh, visually uh, the robot move in the uh, simulation. But not only we want to do that, we also want to look at the positions of your robot while we are jogging, right? So that's definitely we are interested in. So uh, with that, we have to use what we call the position screen. All right, so uh, with robot, Fanuc uh, robot, uh, teach pendant, it's very easy to look at that. You just need to locate the POSN key, which is here, right? So whenever you press this key on the teach pendant, uh, the screen will display the position values. Uh, so you can read them from the above, right? So once we uh, have this screen open, uh, but we need to understand what we are seeing, what we are seeing on those numbers, right? So over here, I show you two different screens. So on the left, uh, you are looking at the robot position in the join view. I call that different views, right? And on the right hand side, you notice here, that's the position values represent in the world, right? So there are different views. So of course in joint, that show you from J1 to J6 in different circular angles, right? And, but if you switch to world, then how do you switch? It's here, right? At the bottom, you have different function keys. So if you press F4, you switch into world view. With world view, you can read the X and Y and Z, uh, yaw, pitch, row, right? So the X, Y, Z are in the millimeter, right? So they are in the millimeter units. So this one is a little bit over one and a half meter on the X direction. And those WPR are in circular angle, their rotations, all right? So those are the numbers you, you're reading. One common uh, confusing part is that you confused this with the uh, jogging coordinate, right? So on the previous video, we look at that. You can jog robot in joint, and also you can jog robot in different coordinate system. We'll definitely be gonna talk about more, right? Like look, this one is in tool we'll learn later on. That has nothing to do with what you really looking at the position value. They don't, you can see here, they don't have to match, right? So like over here, if you jog in tool, you can look at in world coordinate, right? Even you jog in join, you can also look at in world view, right? So in fact, that's one thing I'm going to demonstrate in this video because that's gonna help you to understand the uh, jogging movement from the previous video, join and world, because you can look at it from the number point of view. So over here, uh, this one, you can look at the real robot position, right? It's pretty squared, right? So that's straight and 90 degree, that's all 90 degree on here. And then uh, you can see on the position, with this particular position, right? So we look at the position of the two tip called TCP, right? That gave you the reading on joint. Uh, basically all the joint, all the axis are zero degree, except for J5. J5 is here. You can see here, that's J5 in 90 degree, right? That's in at 90 degree angle, right? So that's how do you read from the uh, joint view, right? Then next picture, I'm going to show you uh, when you read the robot position in world view, that's different, All right? So let's look at here. Uh, it first show you X and Y and Z. So uh, if you look at those numbers, it's 1800, 1800 millimeters. That, if you follow my arrow here, is actually point to, this is your positive X, right? So 1.8 meter. So that indicate this particular TCP here, two center point in X direction is 
1.8 meter, uh, meter away from the zero. Right? Zero actually is here, it's not on the floor. Right? I'll show you in the handling pro. So in X direction, it's 1,800 millimeter. And then in Y direction, the offset from the zero to this point on here, if you look at on the floor, it's 1,000 millimeter. And also, how high is it, right? So the TCP is above the 0 0.800 millimeter, and that is reflect on here, right? So that's how you read this X and Y and Z. Those WPR are pretty uh, complicated. Uh, it's really hard to make a sense from the reading, all right? So I'm not going to show that, but I do want you to understand what you read on the X and Y and Z, right, from the handling pro. So I'm going to switch to that simulation. You can see on here, right? So like I said, the POSN, right? So whenever you press this key, this screen will show up. It shows position right now is in world, right? So X is 818, uh, then uh, that's uh, those numbers you can read on here. Let me switch the view on here, right? So again, we look at from the top, right? So if we look at here, uh, let me get my pencil. Somewhere on here, it's the zero, zero, zero on here, at, not on top, right, at the bottom here. But if you look at X and, X and Y, those are zero, zero, right? So that direction, again, is positive X. Uh, according to right-hand rule, right? And that direction is positive Y direction on here. So that's why if you jog in world, right now it's in world, right? If I jog in world and pick the X uh, first on that, if I jog on the minus X, you will read this reading, 818 will uh, going down, become smaller number, but the Y and Z doesn't move, right? You can see here. That's why you can see robot is moving like this way, right? So maybe it's too fast. Let me reduce to 25%. So now let's jog robot in Y direction, right? Remember this direction is positive Y. So I'm going to jog in positive Y. You will see the X and Z doesn't change and only Y change because I'm pressing the positive Y, right? So this number is going to to, towards zero, right? Almost zero. Right now, as you can see, almost zero, negative 40, 43. So you can see here, this line up. If you look at the mar marking on the floor, right? It's pretty straight, that's zero on there, right? So it, once we uh, cross that uh, line, that'll become positive, right? So let me reset the fall and positive Y. Not right now, Y become positive. Right. So this is why the uh, in the in the world jogging coordinate only particularly change x and y, and of course you can switch to join view. Like right now, I'm going to press F2, so those view will change to J1 to J6. So you can see here those are the angles, right? So if I move around the uh, jogging around x, so you will see multiple join will move together, right? So you can see here multiple joints moving together. So if you look at from diff angle on the robot, you probably you will understand that. So you can see here, if I move positive X, then multiple joints will move together to maintain the straight line, right? So that's what I'm saying. So you don't have to match up depends on what you look at that, right? So you can jog in world, but you can look at in joint angle and vice versa. And that's going back to, to the join. So once we go into join, we can particularly change one of the uh, uh, join, the axis, right? So like, for example, uh, 
G5 is on minus roughly minus 90, I can target on J5 to change that particularly, right? So you can see here that change to 80 degree now, right? So that's the particularly on that one, right? And remember, I'm saying that you don't have to match, right? You are jogging in joint, but if you look at the joint, the, the world view, if you press F4, right? So you can see on the X and Y and Z, they also reflect on that on different readings. You can see here, not only X change, Y change, also change, and Z also change, right? Because that's the two tip TCP the change. Definitely Z gonna change, right? So that help you to understand why the, uh, uh, they, we have a different coordinated system, right? Because they are doing different things with the robot movement. So you choose different coordinate system, the robot controller will calculate the robot movement differently to, to give you the uh, movement you desire, you want, right? So you, but you have to understand what you, you get there first, right? So this is the, uh, the position view. And the other thing that, remember, I want to show you uh, the zero, right? So definitely later on, when we talk about frames, uh, I will mention that again, but now I can show you on here. So uh, remember that, uh, uh, let me open that. Remember on this particular position, you can, I tell you that the Z is 800, but it's not from the floor, right? So I have a position register record on that. Let me move my robot to that particular position, right? So that's called number nine, world position view. So I already recorded. So in order to uh, make the, uh, the video shorter, right? So I can speed up. So I can quickly move my robot to that location, right? So if you look at here, it's, it's exactly the location it shows on the, on my slide, right? So the slide is the only difference here. This slide doesn't have a pointer, but uh, on my real robot, I have a pointer. So I want you to look at how do you interpret the reading from the X and Y, Z. So we are in that position. Press the S uh, P O S N position. You can see here X eighteen hundred, right? Remember that, right? So if I rotate the view from the top, you can see on the floor, each square is 1000 uh, meter, um, like a, a square meter, right? So you can see Z at zero is somewhere around here, right? Let me get my pencil. It's zero is here, right? So from there, you can see that's 1000 and that's 800. So that's how you read on the, this X 1800 and for Y you have exactly 1000, right? So if I rotate the view, oh, I don't even need to rotate. You can see here, it's right here. So the TCP is here, right? To center point, it's right on the dot, right on the line. And remember I told you that, that each square is 1000, uh, 1,000 millimeter square, right? So that's why you get the Y is 1,000, right? So that's very easy to understand. And with the Z to 800, all right? So that's going to different angle to look at here. So you may wonder, right? So this two boxes are also 1,000 meter high. Right, so if you look at this 1,000 meter high, here is 1,000 above the floor. But how come here is the Z 800 millimeter? How come it's supposed to be above 1,000, right? But you read here Z 800. But because here the, uh, the zero on the robot, it's somewhere around here on this level. Right, the zero of the robot is the J1 rotation and J2 rotation. Uh, they cross somewhere around the here, above the base, above the floor on here. So that's your zero, zero, zero. 
on here. Right. In order to show you that, I have another position to record. So hopefully that help you to understand. I record another position, position number 10, PR10, it's maintenance position, right? So if I move my robot to that position, shift move to, you will see where exactly is the robot, All right? You're gonna see a little bit crash, uh, it doesn't matter, right? It's a simulation. So if I zoom in now, you can see, let me clear all the markings on here. Switch to position window, you can see here. Right now, the X is 675, Y is zero, and Z is also zero. Why do you read zero on, on Z? Like I mentioned, right? So the zero is somewhere around this level. So that's exactly the same level as the TCP. So that's why you read the Z is zero. And Y, you can see if I switch to different angle to look at the robot from the top, that's right on the line, right on the on the base on here. You can see here, uh, this is the center line on here. Right? This is the line. So that's why Y is zero, zero on here. And uh, of course you understand the on the X, right? If I go back to the this, uh, angle and look at this one. So the TCP is right here, right? So uh, zero line is somewhere around here and that's supposed to be the zero on the X. And this is the 675 millimeter, right? So uh, this is the, the purpose of this video is just to show you how do you read those position values. All right, uh, I'll see you on the next video.